good morning you guys i just woke up and today is uh 6th of july um it's a saturday which means i'm exactly 14 weeks out from my wpff show in october um which is really exciting so i might show you guys maybe um my meal prep if i do that today and training and little bits along the way on my prep journey anyway. So this is my countdown chart and I'm pretty sure, okay, we've done that one, we've done that one and we are here, boys, 99 days. All right, so I just got done my leg workout like an hour or so ago. Um, then I went to the shops and I got my meal prep for the week. So I'll show you what I have got. So this basically is my food for the week. So I've got spud light, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, zucchini, spinach, banana, chicken, beef, mints, um, limes, because I love to put that on my chicken, so good. Onion, celery, spring onion, sweet potato, uh, lettuce, and then just some like seasoning things and carrots. So all of this is what I'm eating at 14 weeks out and I'll show you guys what I do with it like once I've made it. Basically at the moment I have two meals of chicken and like vegetable salad and two of the beef mince chicken salad and then a smoothie. I think that's what I have. And also um, don't mind the echoing because as you can see there's no furniture because I just moved in here. So that's why. What I've done is my veggies. So I've done carrot, celery, spring onion, onion, zucchini. Mm, so good. And now I've also done my sweet potato. And then now I'm about to do my mince and chicken and potato. But um, I'll show you guys the end of all my meals because I put them into individual containers for each meal for every day. I'll show you the meals. I couldn't keep it out on the bench. It's taking up so much space. But this is what the fridge looks like. So all those bits and pieces that I add to the meals like later on fresh and then these is the bits that I heat up. Good morning, you guys. Um, so today is Monday the 8th. Um, I thought that today I will show you guys a full day of eating so when I'm eating I'm gonna try and show you my day this is the outfit of choice for the day of course I'm in my ride wear ride wear seamless one of my favorite collections so so comfy and my ride wear shoes I need to wash them Alrighty, so my camera died, I had to charge it. So I've already had one meal today, which I forgot to show you guys, but I'll show you what it looks like anyway from one of tomorrow's meals. So this is my meal number one. Just mince, veggies, carrots, celery, shorts, whatever. And then this is my pre-trained meal, which I'm gonna have now because I'm gonna go train leg soon, which is the same as this, but I've got my carbs, sweet potato, delicious. Well, that's basically how I set my meals out. So I cook it all, all on Sunday or Saturday, and then put it all into its individual containers, right on the lid, like what it is. Um, by doing this, I feel like it saves so much time because I just grab out whatever it is, like Monday pre-train, grab it out, put it in the microwave, heat it up so much uh, easier because in prep, um, you know, you're tighter than usual, energy is low and, well, I personally, some people do, they just want to cook it up fresh, but uh, I like to take the easy way out. While my food's heating up, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an apartment tour because as I told you before, I've just moved here. Um, so I did live in Brisbane and I moved to the Gold Coast with my best friend 
And this is our place. Pretty empty, but it's cute. Let me show you guys. So this is coming in the front door. We come in. We have our dining table, but we need dining chairs. Here's my prep countdown. Oh yeah, boys. 97 days, here we come. Um, I bought the clothes inside because it was starting to rain. But here's basically where the lounge room's gonna go. So we need a couch, TV, all that stuff. We have a pool, which is exciting. And the beach is just through there. So close to the beach. And our pantry into the kitchen. This is my yummy food heating up. So pretty basic kitchen, but it's so cute. And then we come through here, and this is my room. And then we have a bathroom. And then we have Gemma's room in here. Um, I'm pretty obsessed with this place. It's so cute. And um, we'll keep you updated when we actually get a lounge and stuff. Where is a good place to get a lounge? Let me know because I don't really want to pay $3,000 for a couch. So let me know if you have any good suggestions of where to get a cheap but good couch from. Anyway, food's ready. Yum! I can confirm that that filled up about mm, half my pinky toe. So, <sighs> that's a good sign. <laughs> oh, my coach just recently dropped my calories a bit. And whenever your calories drop, you definitely feel it. And I'm feeling it. The past four days, I've been so hungry. But nevertheless, I am sticking to the plan, trusting in the process, and all will pay off in the end. But oh, I just wish I could eat that. Whoops. I wish I could eat that one more time. I should have eaten it slower. So I suppose the plus side of not having any lounge room furniture yet is that there's a lot of space for free rolling. So I'm just gonna roll out before my leg session today because my legs have been so tight and kind of like tingly. I don't know, they're sore. So I'm just gonna do a bit of rolling before I go smash them again. Ooh. Yep. Get me flexor. This is my post-workout meal. I have chicken and uh, spinach and spud light. <gasps> That's my favorite. I'm going to devour this because Gemma put me through my legs. Hang on, why is it so blurry? Gemma put me through my leg session today and I am fried. So I'm gonna need all this, all this goodness post-workout meal with a bit of a view. And this is my bestie and roommate, the beautiful Gemma, who crushed me in today's session. Yep, that's you her. Bitch. That's her and she's gonna do it. Oh. What am I doing? And she's gonna train me again on Wednesday, so I'm not looking forward to it. And she also is my physio. <laughs> she put this spicy, spicy patch on my shoulder for my sore track. And I don't know if it's for real, but um, I'm actually going to a real physio tomorrow for my saw trap and shoulder so hopefully it gets sorted out so Gemma can just stop 
treating me at home with the spicy patches. But look at us hard at work. Look at her. You're working so hard. <laughs> this is my dinner. I have some spinach, some veggies and chicken breasts. And I'm going to add this. Gemma got me into this. Cheers, mate. I love this stuff. Uh, um, it's um, hang on. So this is, is this stock? Am I allowed to put, sprinkle this on my food? It's just salt. Yeah, just salt and tomato and some of this jam will also come me onto this. Thanks, mate. I am literally the savior in this. <laughs> She's saving me. Some Nando's peri peri mild sauce and these. Ingredients together actually makes <laughs> This is the finished product and uh, Kind of looks like not that good, but let me tell you it's uh, real good This is my last meal of the day and probably my most favorite meal I have banana some ice some blueberries and I put some almond butter and this no way protein oh yeah it's actually the best protein and blend it up and Bob's your uncle and what's this turd got <laughs> he's got cocoa bombs and a brownie and chocolate can't eat it all now she's exposed she's eating all that now <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs>